So I have my oracle cards on let's my website. Let's do it now. Yeah, let's do it now. Which and people come pick? from all over the world to yeah. choose one, right? So let's ask a question. Okay. And actually, let's ask something for the people watching. Okay. So, okay, so what it would, if the person is watching us having this conversation today, and then we'll do a personal one for you too, because I know you want one. <laughs> of course I do. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> so what do the watchers at home need to know about what they need to focus on. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I like so that. Let's, what should they be focusing on right now? What should they be focusing on right now? Gorgeous, love it. To really become more authentic and happier. Okay. You know, and, okay, good. So why don't you choose a deck to pick from, and I'll pick one from another deck. Are you gonna take the Enchanted Map cards, and I'm gonna take the Wisdom of Avalon cards. Okay, and we'll just shuffle? Yeah, we'll just shuffle. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna have some fun. Mm -hmm. So if you're watching at home, which, or if you're cards. at the office, you can just go to my website and pick one. Just kidding. Or get the <laughs> app, I'm obsessed with the apps. <laughs> I just do little apps every That's day. right, we have iPhone apps and iPad apps, and this is kind of a way to communicate with spirit. And uh, it's based on ancient uh, oracle systems and divination systems that have existed for tens of thousands of years. I have modernized them and just made them with different themes, and as we know, they work. So um, why don't you pick one from this, okay. and I'll pick one from that. Oh, so cool. you choose one first. Remember, we're doing it for the viewers at you? home. Yep. Oh, I'm gonna go here. I like how you change your mind. Yeah, because my hand gets, ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay, good. <laughs> so let me see yours. Movement. And I'm saying peaks of joy. Nice. So, so this is so interesting that these two cards are together, and I'm going to interpret them. Okay? okay. So the card movement from Wisdom of Avalon and the card peaks of joy for the um, Enchanted Map Oracle card. So movement means basically get up off your butt. Which is exactly <laughs> what we're talking about. That's exactly what we're talking about. And if you do what you did, you're gonna get what you got. So you gotta do something different. But it doesn't take a lot of movement, right? You don't really have to make big giant leaps to actually make a giant leap. So remember that one small tiny movement, right? Once one tiny step forward will sometimes create a giant miracle. So just do something. Yeah. And movement is assured. It means that the sense when we feel so stuck that nothing's gonna change, well, it is gonna change. So this is part of the reminder that nothing stays the same, right? So, Beautiful. and Peaks of Joy, and it's a 33, which is the Christ consciousness number, right? So it is all about awe and reverence to God, it really is. It's about recognizing that there is a greater consciousness, that our joy is not human. That when we are in awe and in deep gratitude and we're just like amazed when we see these mini miracles and things and you know when you'll get a message and you'll get a, a tingling or something happens, these are all these reminders that spirit, the divine consciousness, God, intelligence, the field, whatever you want to call it, is alive, listening to us and wanting us to be happy. Mm -hmm. Happy, joyous and free mm -hmm. is a legacy. It's not a silly concept. Beautiful. Right? What a nice one. So I hope that helped you guys. Now da Gabby's going to get a card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so put them so all back. So let's put them all back, yep. And you pick the deck you want to read from. I and I'm going to pick this purple deck. So I'm going to say, what do you need to know today, Gabby? Now, you might be getting a message right now while I'm giving one to Gabby. So pay oh. attention. <laughs> oh. Um, can I do an open ended? Like, yes, yes. Like let's tell just say, me what you want me to know today? Yeah, spirit. Yeah. I like do you that. want one card or two cards? Two. Let's do two. All right, let's do two. What's the difference? You have so a let's say more. what is in your highest good. So okay. we'll take the first card, which is the theme, and the second card, was, which is more information. Okay, the theme is the first, and then the second is more information. Okay. Really drawn to purple today? Yeah, I well, you why. did wear it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the first one. Ah, okay, that's great. And here's the second one. So you chose the theme is protection. Okay. So I'm always protected and divinely directed, right? That is, that's the mantra. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm always protected and divinely directed. I'm always protected and divinely directed. Right. So when we are doing spirits work, right, when you're putting yourself out there, like you just did in front of hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people with the Deepak, uh, you know, global peace meditation, you're getting more and more popular. There's a need sometimes to contract a little bit to feel that you need to protect yourself. But this saying that protection is inherent in what you do. Thank you. Right? That's yeah. Good. That feels good. 
Yeah, so it's inherent in what you do. Um, the Merlin card represents alchemy, which means you have all the pieces to turn iron ore into gold. So you are a person who is bringing balance into both dark and light, right? So you bring all those different pieces. That you have iron ore, you have silver, you have the base metals. Base metals, right? So that's what alchemy was. Alchemy was these... Uh, in the olden days, it was taking these base qualities and turning them into something higher, mm. right? So bringing mm -hmm. it into a higher experience mm -hmm. or manifestation of itself. So both things says as you move forward into the world and you get more and more successful, which we already know is happening, you just have to trust, absolutely okay. trust. But I am going to say something intuitively for you off of this, right? So I think this is also about your home because what's protection? I got my womb going on, right? My <laughs> So this is about a new home. This is about, and this is, this, the cards are that, but the, the pictures I'm getting in my head is like, ooh, I need a, I need a womb to be in. I need to curl up in a, in a nice way in my home. So this is all about bringing in a brand new home for you. And because alchemy is bringing the pieces together into something beautiful and mm -hmm. new, right? And it may be that something is also over your head, mm -hmm. right? So when I say that, it could be like you have two stories or you have a mm -hmm. deck or you have- It's a home. Right. And bring the home. Yeah, right. I, I'm with you. The needing of that home yeah. for that central, right? So because yeah. we're, and interesting though that this is your personal thing, mm -hmm. because I think it's the story for all of us. Okay. Right? Yeah. We all need that home. Mm -hmm. We need to find home again. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. and to trust that we are protected and divinely directed and that mm -hmm. walking into these unknown times, we have everything it takes to turn iron ore into gold. Mm. Beautiful. Miracles now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I think we are done. I hope you enjoyed this, everybody. Thanks so much, Gabby, for coming. I love you. I, I love, love you. you. You're so wonderful. Oh, you are. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>